guys. Um, so I'm suffering with depress depression and anxiety. As you guys know, in my previous videos, I've mentioned it. Um, and it's gone a long time untreated now. Um, but I can't go on like this. So I, I made a doctor's appointment. It's tomorrow at 1.30. While I suffer with depression and anxiety, I also know how blessed I am. Um, my daughter is my everything. She's my whole reason to keep fighting every day through the depression. I know I'm blessed. I know I am. Like, without her and my husband, they're my whole world. Um, and I do know that. But it's time. It's time to go get checked out and find out exactly what's wrong. Because I know deep down in my heart and in my head that something is wrong. Something's off. Um, it's just time. It's time to get some help. Um, I'm really scared, though. I'm, I'm, like, terrified, and I don't know why. I guess I'm scared to finally face it. I'm scared to finally admit, you know, like, there's something really wrong. Um, I'm just scared. I'm nervous. I'm so anxious, and that's why this video is so late, because I am so anxious and nervous. Um, I'm, I'm exhausted right now, but my nerves are keeping me awake. I don't know if I'll get enough sleep tonight, but I just gotta make sure that I'm up, and I will, I always do. I never miss appointments, um, but I just gotta make sure that I'm ready for it, you know what I mean? Um, I'm writing everything down tonight, everything. It's been a long time since I've seen a doctor. It's been two years, and <laughs> it's been even longer since I've actually admitted that something is going on, something is wrong inside my mind, and it scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> Excuse my language, but it scares the hell out of me because my dad, he is very mentally ill, and I never wanted to be like him, like the bad parts of him. Like, I'm proud to be like him, the good parts, but the bad parts. But it's not really bad, is it? If it's an illness, it's an illness, and you can't help it. And it's finally time that I admit that, and while I'm scared to death, um, I also feel kind of relieved that I'm finally going and getting checked out, because, and, and this is a whole new doctor, so I have no idea what he can do to help me. I don't even know if he can help me. He might say, um, this is out of my area of expertise. I'm a family doctor. You need to go see a specialist or you need to go see a therapist or you need, you know what I mean? Like, I can't help you. Or he might say, okay, well, I have some tools and stuff that I can do that will set you on the right track and help you and I can monitor you. You know what I mean? He might be able to do wonders for me. But all I'm asking from you guys, and I'm sorry again for this video being so, so late. Just pray for me that I do get answers and that he can do something for me. Um, you know, I just have really bad depression and I don't know why. Like, I, yeah, I've had a rough life, but this type of depression, it feels like I've lost someone and I haven't. You know, like I have, but you know what I mean? Like, it's that type of depression where it feels like someone has been ripped from your arms that you love dearly. Um, like a husband or a wife or a kid or, you know what I mean? Like that type of thing. So it makes no sense to me because my blessings are right by my side and they've never left my side. And I'm very, very happy for that. And I thank God every day for them. But I can't keep going on like this. And it scares me so bad, guys. So I'm finally putting my big girl pants on, admitting it, standing up, and trying to do something for myself to get it resolved. Because if I'm suffering, my husband suffers too with me. 
because he loves me. My, who knows the effect it has on my daughter. I am a good mom, and I take very good care of her, but kids sense when something's not right with their mommies. They know, and I don't want her to go through any of that. I don't want her to see any of it, you know? So, it's time that I do something for not only myself, but for my family, too. And I've been also in an endometriosis flare for three weeks now, and it, this is for the women only, but I've been on my period for three weeks straight, and it's not really letting up at all, and the cramps are just as bad every single day. So, um, anyways, I love you guys. I'm gonna go. I gotta set out my clothes and stuff for tomorrow. Um, just pray for me, okay? Good night, everybody. I hope you guys are sleeping well, and I hope everyone's okay. Sweet dreams. Talk to you guys tomorrow. I'll update you tomorrow, okay? Bye.